what's up guys, it's Clever Spike here and today I'm back for once again another episode of Life is Strange with you guys. Now in today's episode we're actually playing the last and final episode of this game which kind of sucks because I don't want it to end. But at the same time they left us on the biggest cliffhanger and I want to find out what happened. So yeah, this is episode 5, parts 1. It is a very long episode I'm pretty sure since it's like the season finale and all that stuff. Um, so which means that this will probably be split into parts of course again. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Yeah, let's go. Alright. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. Let's just watch this and see what happens. Recap. Whoa. What did you find? <clears throat> Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's a creepy anybody. barn. Except each other. We found you know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. He does. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. This is when they found the all dark room. All those miners are filled with other victims. What are you Chloe. doing here, Mac? Yeah. Kate. Victoria yes. has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot now! This was the sad part. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. And this is where they left oh us God, off, look. which is the biggest cliffhanger She's I've ever seen. There. Oh, no. Chloe. Look how. What the fuck? Yeah. I hate that teacher so freaking much. I knew there was something fishy about him. You don't have a teacher that you love that much. Man, oh man. <sighs> no. Not okay. We're gonna see what happens. I need this. This, like, this needs to change. Chloe needs to come back. Because, like, that is not happening. Chloe is not dead. I do not believe that. She's alive somehow. We can rewind time and fix it, hopefully, because if not, I'm literally going to die because I'm super emotionally attached to this game. Um, <laughs> really, really good game. Um, I love it. Lots. I literally loved it so much, I looked up, like, so many things on YouTube, and I'm just like, oh my god. Alright, so I'm guessing that we're in the dark room right now because I remember the cameras and all that type of umbrella type things to stop any background things. I don't know. I'm not a movie director or anything like that. But it does look the exact same. And I bet you Chloe's dead because it kind of looked like she got hot. Shot. Not hot. My bad. Looks like she got shot like right here in between. The, uh, in the forehead. Yeah, so. And uh, I'm guessing that that's probably Max on a chair or somewhere or maybe just a floating hand I don't know but that's always nice but uh, yeah let's just go ahead and see what happens so uh, yeah it's really look pretty you know good looking camera it's, damn what a camera oh damn nice feet my god damn <laughs> alright so episode 5 is called polarized this should be interesting it really should be I'm interested Yep, so there's Max, and I'm guessing she's asleep. Or waking up or something. Something's happening. Oh man, how is she gonna fix this this time? Who knows? <clears throat> Alright, so she's waking up. It's always nice. Chloe? <sighs> What? Where? Uh, the dark room. Well, she's strapped to a chair. That's always nice. Is anybody out there? Please help! Uh, let's detach. <laughs> 
Uh, oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Finally. Can we detach anything else? Oh, Almost. No, not. Um. Uh, let's go ahead and pull the trolley or whatever it's called next to us. This is when having long legs would be very useful. But I don't. <laughs> Alright, uh, what, damn, let's just look at the series. God, here. I don't remember anything that happened. I hate <coughs> looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Oh, I left mouse focus on the button. Oh, I don't know how to do this I that promise well. I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Alright, I'm not good at this. We got like half that. Ah, I hate doing this because it's really bad. It doesn't work that well. Yeah, it doesn't really work that well. Um, alright. Oh, when the photo is clearly defined, release all keys and the mouse button. Oh. I didn't know that. Yeah, screw oh, that's, it. Oh, that's great. Oh, Max. That's fucking creepy. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly I guess we finally focus it. Open and so bad at that. Vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. She's just Look fucking at that creepy. perfect face. Hold that stare then! Stay still! My shot. Damn. Oh, please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. Get used to it, buddy. It's the twenty-first century. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. That's not a creepy angle. Hello. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw Nathan's a few always subjects a part of around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. That's creepy. That's fuck. No, no, no. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room oh, and, you know, is under 24 missing. surveillance, so all good I had for to somebody do to figure was out. text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. I care. Though I promise, Same. people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. 
badass in the house. Maybe. Relax. A new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my I eye hate on this you, guy. and I've noticed so you've been much. more... With a Fearless, like extreme passion, and maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule: always oh. take oh. the shot. And now uh, she's asleep. That's always nice. It's kind of cool how she can like. You know, go back to find out what happens. It's awesome. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Alright. So I'm guessing find more things? I don't know. Uh, let's look at that. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Oh, I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. I suck at focusing on photos. But let's go. Work. Please work. Hold on. I'm gonna find this at some point. Um, okay, let's try to find... Uh, uh, I suck at this stuff. Did I get it? Snap! I actually got it! First. Damn, that's a first. All right, where are we I'm now? I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she yeah, doesn't I understand. I don't really think Victoria would be connection. so happy to be there, and we do not You're have a connection. You're the winner, Max. None. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck Wait. you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. I don't think they're my lucky. subjects. Yes. I don't think they like it that much. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Damn, words have been dropped on the floor. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Really? You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. 
Then why did you blame David Matson for stalking Kate? Of course he was the only person who was about to find out the truth. Irony. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. Like it happens people? often in teacher-student wow. relationships. What did I it was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. True, true. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? Not really. Why? Why? TMI. Why? Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes it. we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally Damn. get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision so he's with dead? amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Yeah. Okay. No, this turn. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. This music. I have no. all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Uh, let's go back to when we can do stuff. So appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Uh, yeah, I looked at that. What? I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh, now this one. That's what I did, though. Speak Wait! Up. Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. No. Alright, show me the photos. What are you going to do? Let me go. My diary, yeah. So it must you still something. have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Well, now that I have it next to me, I can do something with it, right? hopefully. Alright, 
Let's look. Okay, try to focus, focus, focus. Um, trying to find the sweet spot. Can we get the sweet spot? I can't find it. <laughs> I hate doing this so much. The music in the background is not helping. Uh, it's somewhat clear. No, okay, I lost it. Screw it. Screw it. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. And capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trip. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not How the first to use images Chloe for again? Chloe selfie doesn't remember expression. This. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that and let you try to answer one more. Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well. Thanks for the warning, Max. So, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Clearly, Max doesn't have the, uh, time. <laughs> Okay. You guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo so, like, in the Everyday Heroes time to change time. To San Francisco, where you'll be fed by the First, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Okay. Uh, okay, all right. No, 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 cell phone. No. I hope I still love yeah. photography when this is done. <laughs> cell phone. Don't can all I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life with. So, okay, look in the bag. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. Okay, uh, David Madison. I don't remember that. Six three zero eight two four three six. Or David. For once, David, I'm praying you overreact to this as much as everything else, and take Jefferson down fast. Alright, good. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Damn. The past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Probably. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I can't go past these photo boundaries, so I need to fix everything from here. Okay, um, just look at the pictures. There's still some beauty left in Arcadia Bay. Maybe there's something in the pictures? Who knows? I still feel like the lighthouse is calling out to me. I guess we just gotta speak to them here. Get photo. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? 
Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud Damn. of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't Damn. even be happy She's with your own like, talent. Boom. You have to Water try and bring everybody. everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then, I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but... Why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. <laughs> I've heard it that wasn't so easy much. at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo. Maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Huh. Maybe only one Maddie. of us will be going. There Don't be so go. modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. He's just like... Okay. <laughs> Alright, now we saved Chloe. That's, that's where that memory came. Uh, then we saved Chloe again. Why is Chloe always the target? Then we were talking to Chloe there and proving them to do stuff. And that never happened yet. And that did happen. That never. Damn. Damn. They found the body. And she did stuff. What the hell? This is changing the whole entire thing. Oh my. Damn. I really don't even. How? Okay, they need to explain something. <laughs> I'm so lost. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. What? I hope I did everything right this time. My god. Local teacher arrested. Good work, David. Huh. Oh, I'm so proud of my super oh, just started to clear Oh, you're alive. That's a good thing. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. Okay. So that's all nice and all. Um, we gotta do something though. What is that on that screen? Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. Hot Dog we, Man? We were innocent. So please don't. Okay. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. So I guess that, um. I have to admit, happened. I love being called an artist. So I'm guessing that, um, you know, the teacher got caught 
and they found Rachel's body, and they found out everything was happening, and Chloe's still alive, so, and now she's on her trip to San Francisco for the Everyday Heroes Contest, because she won. So, it's always nice. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Just look at the newspaper. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Alright, you guys can read that if you want. Um, there's not much. Yeah, alright, cool. Continue on. I don't feel like reading all that. You guys can pause and read it if you want. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're cool, starting yeah. our set in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool oh, 60, 60 degrees. degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't <laughs> think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. <laughs> Sounds nice. Alright, so that's the principle. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between forgive Mr. It. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. <laughs> we are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco. But we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. All right then. Oh, she's bleeding. Oh, Christ! Again. Another nosebleed. Max, you're not just screwing around with time. Okay. Now where is she now? What? I am so. So confused. Like, what's going on here? Well, I guess we're here now. And the everyday heroes. So I'm guessing, this is, yeah, can't speak. I'm guessing this is where we go when you know we win contest stuff. So it's always nice. Yeah, I'm not this interested in arts and photos, but <laughs> right, cool. She's just gonna stand there and be like, "Hey, cool, a building, wow." San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. True. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I oh, have to I want to go there now. now. Food this is, is your day, food. Max. I'm just kidding. You can do whatever you Food's want. Also good, I time. hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird. Like, I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, cool. I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better Me. get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. Right. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Alright, so I'm guessing we're supposed to just go ahead and search around and see what's happening. Wow, Sir Max. You did it. Somehow. There I am. Along with all the other winners. Damn. I should say... artists instead. You should, but you didn't. Too late. Speak to well, the Good morning! Stress. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your Everyday Heroes photo! The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Yay, I feel special. Alright, cool. 
Um, donation box. What's in here? Staff only. You know what? I'll go in there if I want to. Let's go to the bathrooms, man. It's the best thing to check out. Or not. That's cool, too. Alright, let's go look at the newspaper. Wow. wow. A Danny Lee article. Alright, cool. That's not really that cool. Alright, let's go ahead and walk around and actually see I heard stuff. Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. <clears throat> Hold on to it. His Are you Max Caulfield? Serious cash. Bravo on your entry. I'm it's the art critic for me. Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. He's still not even I'll looking I'll send you at the me. details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. He, he didn't even, like, look at me throughout that whole entire conversation. That's <laughs> it's bad. Okay, cool. Who can we talk to here? No, I don't want to talk to you. What about I know you? it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look timeless. Oh, who's the artist? Uh, I don't feel like actually talking to him either. Whatever. Um, is there anything we're supposed to know understand here? Art. Where is How our much picture? Would you pay for that? Oh, there's our picture. <laughs> Loving the retro vibe. Me too. Makes me want to go buy an instant camera. Here's mine. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Huh. Hi. That's your photo, girl. Be proud. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. That's always good. And she's getting a nosebleed again. Something good happens, there's always something bad that needs to follow up with it. Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your I'm okay. Uh, the way you speak. Leg. High altitude. Huh. That's a good way to explain it. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come uh, on. Please answer. What? Oh no. oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe! Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe, no, you died. fixed one issue, but you didn't fix it. Your base gonna be destroyed. I feel like that's gonna be a decision. Like there has to Chloe be a way dying, to stop this. or for good. Yeah, the field, the colors. Look at the field. I really do feel like something's gonna happen. Either we're gonna lose Arcadia Bay, or we're gonna lose Chloe. I guess everybody is a photographer Can't now. Can't lose Chloe. Um, yeah. Let's focus on his. See if we can go anywhere. Um, Excuse right. me. I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... Bruh, I almost got it focused and you had to interrupt me like that. I'm working on it. Oh, you're Max Caulfield, right? Tell me what kind of instant camera you um, use. Yeah, can we talk later? Thanks. I literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. I'm trying, man, to figure it out. Huh. Oh, I don't know how clear this picture is supposed to be. It's one of those weird pictures. Oh, hey. I totally am into your photography. Not right now. Uh, don't Focus, do Max. Chloe needs you now. I'm trying. Jesus. There we go. Did I get it? Shit. I got it. Sweet. It's always cool. Oh shit! Oh my head. That's what happens when you rewind a lot. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. Oh, this is trippy. What am I doing to time? I just have to make one simple change, 
so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Not that simple. It really isn't. Tear. Oh, just tear. No, oh, dumb. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Yes. Price field chip. If you guys don't know what that is, it's Chloe Price and Max Caulfield. Price field, you know. Yeah. All right, so we teared up the photos, so I'm guessing that all the San Francisco stuff is not happening, but therefore Mark Jefferson still gets arrested and all that good stuff. And therefore, we should be in Arcadia Bay when the tornado comes. Yay. How are we gonna fix this? I do not even know. I do not know. And I am terrified. What is going to happen? Oh, fuck. God, no. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway. Answer. My question, please. What would it answer? Eat shit and die. <laughs> I love that answer. We're doing that. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. It's only that I found out that you're a serial killer that tries to kill me and all my best friends. Yeah, it's nothing. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said... Something weird. Stop There's that fear. It's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. I think so, like... How is you don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Tornado's happening very Quiet, soon, I'm guessing. Please. Don't do okay. this. Just gonna put her to sleep again? Really? This final dose won't hurt. What? Uh, I can't. I, what? I can't do anything. Oh no. Damn. Oh no, David. Come on. Oh, I can't do anything. No, David. No. Jesus. Let's rewind. Rewind faster. No more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? Oh. You got me, Max. 
How can I deny that face? I want to smack this dude in the crotch with a sun don't shine. Uh, play some music? Could you please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. That's a nice trait. Alright, that should get rid of the sound. Oh, I'm gonna fall asleep before I can even do anything, can I? Yeah. Hold it! What? Oh, we're good. Oh, okay. Um, there is literally nothing I can do. I need to rewind further, probably. Hold it! What? Yeah, okay. We gotta rewind. We can't just say play music. Because, like, I, I get hurt from that still, so I'm just gonna skip all this. Alright, so, one last picture of some water. Yeah, some water, because that's still sound uh, and you have to do something. But my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Oh man, it's just in a water bottle. That's not probably as good, maybe, I don't know. There we go, water, yay. Totally good. Alright, that delayed him a bit. Now if he goes try to do the needle thing, maybe he won't hear me as much. That picture's disturbing. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. I'm pretty sure that I'm so fucked. What? David, watch out! Time to shut there the fuck go. up, okay? Oh. Shit. Okay. Um, what if I... No, what if David, I warn him? watch out! How? How did you know that? There we go. Finally, something that kind of... Push this. No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not yeah. going to stop me. David Madsen. Of course. Oh, man. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. A real bullet. Okay, cool. That was a fail. Let's rewind time even more. So it turns out if we do that, like... Oh, pull you are the not cable. going to stop me. There you go, no gun. Huh. Knockout. Sweet. Did we oh actually win? Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you alright? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. No for thank once. me. I you brought me like here. David. Oh no, he's bugging Let's up. wrap up this son of a bitch first. I don't really think you should shoot him, but I uh, just knock him out. There you go. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Just Mr. Jefferson. Die, he's probably now it's your turn to, to be picture. captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned yeah. everything. Including all of my photos. Warren! Yes! I, I can use that picture he took of us. What picture? Shit! No signal. Hmm. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. Okay, so he's knocked out. That's, that's nice. Max, I'm sorry you had to be... David? Are you okay? Look Speaking at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was going to kill me. You got here just in time. I'm glad. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just 
wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I guess I looked just as suspicious when you told Principal Wells that I was harassing Kate Marsh. And I don't blame you. And Max, I'll never forgive myself for what happened to Kate. So I'm guessing Kate I feel still like died. I helped push her off that roof. Oh, my freaking arm hurts. Not your fault, really. Don't blame yourself. Nathan and Jefferson are the ones who put her up there. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. That's kind of weird, too. But Nathan killed Rachel, and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. You saved me. They I told not Principal as Wells as Nathan you. had a gun and almost used it. But he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys Well, you had each other. She learned from you. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. You both had a tough start. And I know it wasn't easy. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but when Joyce kicked me out. Where did he go after that? I'm sorry, it was pretty much my fault. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. I kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. So, like, I should probably go save Chloe now, she gave me but hope. he keeps talking. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce yeah, I would well, go see a family counselor. Well, if you keep I won't be able to save you. And I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. Move. I don't expect her to call me dad, but... Maybe she'll stop calling me step-douche. So, Death where is Chloe? Tell the truth. I need him on my side. David... Uh, Chloe is... is... dead. This isn't happening. It can't... And no, he's God. In the house. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. So she's still dead. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... What? God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! Don't shoot him. Don't. David, wait! Oh, God. Oopsie doopsie. Well, now he's a murderer. Now we're fucked. That was a bad idea. Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? I'm trying to kill All person. that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe. I'm sorry. 
Joyce. I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You I did think your it's best. good we still told him the truth. But I, at the same time, I feel like I should not. Max. You better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. Maybe David. we can rewind time. Thank you for saving me. Yeah, hopefully we can rewind time and maybe he doesn't kill him. I don't know. I don't know what to change. I honestly feel like he deserved to die, though, so I'm kind of happy he did that. Oh, man. I feel like that was a really bad decision. Um, shit. Uh, right under my nose. Just leave the dark room. I mean, what else can we do? Alright. Let's get in this car. Or not. Maybe. Freedom. Drive. Drive. Holy shit. This storm is real. It's I not need like to find it's fake, bro. Yes! Yeah, there's connection. Call him. Warren, can you hear me? <laughs> Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wheels Diner. Pretty much we gotta get there fast. Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. All right, we got to get in this car and we got to get to that two-wheel diner thingy, whatever you want to call that place. And we got to get that thingy with Jiggy. So let's, let's go. Please don't tell me they expect me to drive a car. Does she even drive the car? Before? I mean, she's 18, so. All right. Limbo have been warning you people for years that our culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one that trapped in the fucking really radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, I'm gonna pay all those taxes! It's gonna end badly. You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. He's the truth. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry. Shit. Man, oh man. I thought that was a car on the road. I was just like, what? <laughs> How did a car get up there? Tornado, I guess. Huh. There's a few people here and there. That's always cool. Let's get out of this car. Let's deal with the storm. After all, I'm that stuff. I can do it. Maybe. Yes, get down. 
But ladies and gentlemen, at the two hills time. So hurry up. Somebody, please, anybody, help. I don't want to die here. All right, guys, so that's the end of this episode part. Now, I know you guys are probably just like you just ended it in the most cliffhanger moment ever. What are you doing? Well, there's a reason for this. I need to split this into two parts. So I'm going to go ahead and split it here because that's literally the best plot that I can think of. Um, but that's okay because make sure to subscribe to me and then you'll know when the ending part comes out, which is episode five, part two, which is the next video after, like, the next part episode thing half of this whatever you want to call it um, but uh, anyway so make sure to like the video if you did enjoy make sure to comment down below what do you think is gonna happen like I don't know is, is Chloe alive I mean if you know Max can reverse time then maybe we can fix everything who knows but you know you're gonna have to stay tuned to find out so that's it for today's video you guys enjoyed and so I will see you guys all next time peace out <laughs> Thank you.